Erica Sheffer's dark comedy Russian Transport has arrived at Off-Broadway's Acorn Theatre. We're here to talk to the cast and creative team about this fascinating family saga. Russian Transport, I find to be a, a chillingly refreshing uh, family drama because it's kind of, we go on a, a wild ride that I haven't seen, a story that I haven't seen told before. It's a, about a family, an immigrant family striving to make their life better. Um, so. It's about the American dream to me. We are struggling financially, as a lot of families are, and we are trying to find ways to pay our mortgage. The mother's brother, their uncle, comes to stay with them. Um, he's moving to the States, and then sort of how he insinuates himself into the family's life, and more specifically into the kids' lives. Within the context of trying to make ends meet, the parents worrying about that, the kids are trying to live a different life than their parents are living. The things that this family has to grapple with are very, serious. It's um, epic in that way that their struggles are paramount. They are all, they're all very strong personalities um, and I think you know, many people recognize their own families in, the, in, these, uh, in these people. The fact that Erica has found um, sort of interesting and idiosyncratic uh, true voices for each of her characters, um, she speaks through her characters in a way that's compassionate and uncompromising to the characters. What inspired you to write this play? Um, well, my family uh, emigrated from the Soviet Union in 1975, my parents and my brother, and I was born here. So I, st I sort of started there and then, and then used my imagination to grow the story into something that is not autobiographical. <laughs> this one popped out for me because it was a family thriller. I'd never read a, you know, such a sort of solid family play that sort of sucked me in in a way and then I was scared. You know, it sort of had me on the edge of my seat. It was a page turner. You had to learn Russian. Did you know Russian before coming yeah, into this? No, I didn't. But uh, it was really fun to learn it. I mean, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of sounds in Russian that we just don't make. We don't uh, we don't have in our with phonemes that we don't have in English. We learned it phonetically. Um, someone, a, a native Russian speaker named Vera, recorded um, just herself saying the Russian. And I, my personal process was I just listened to it over and over again. I would love if you would tell me your favorite Russian phrase. Maya Simye, Maya Bogatsva. Ilya Gitelman. Uh, which means, uh, please, I need to use the washroom. There's one line I can only say if my eyes are shut. It's so hard for me to say it that say I it. have to. Pachimu <laughs> tinye so I just incorporated it into being angry. I have to have my fists clenched and my eyes squeezed. What can audiences expect when they come to see Russian Transport? Um, the unexpected. I think audiences can expect to see the unexpected. People don't. They don't see what they don't see what's coming until it's until it's upon them. And I think it's. I think that's what's that's what's sort of thrilling about the play. Is it is very surprising. It's unpredictable. I think they can. Uh, Hopefully just expect to be entertained for a solid two hours and 15 minutes. That is, that is my goal. And probably maybe a little disturbed. <laughs> <laughs>